Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I didn't tell you, but today is special. I didn't warn you, but today is going to be crazy. Oh, Willow first. Oop, that's not good. The race is on. All right, Penny Pickle, eat up, because we got plans, sister. So it seems like I'm stressing out. I am. It seems like I'm not stressing out. I am. <laughs> I have so much to do, so many things to like figure out before 10 a.m. and it's eight. I'm eating breakfast of nuts. That's all I could get that's fast. And I really need to eat something because my nerves are going crazy. Today is the day that I'm going on my trail ride and I'm excited and I'm not even nervous. I'm just really hungry. <laughs> I have no time to eat, but I need to eat. You need to eat before you go out there and ride your horse and do something crazy. You need to eat. To make matters worse, <laughs> my ears are plugged. I've been telling you guys every single year from in July and August, my ears get plugged and I can't hear a thing. Say my doctor is not super helpful is an understatement. It's just allergies and I know that they'll clear and be okay. But in the meantime, it makes life difficult. And today, of all days, I need to be able to hear. <laughs> Get away from my pony, she says. Get away from my horse. Anyways, last year I discovered that allergy and medications clear it up enough that I can actually hear, but I was trying to avoid that. I hate taking medication. I hate having to take medication around the clock. But anyway, I'm still gonna go on this trail ride. No idea what I'm doing. My kids are still sleeping, but I wanna do this on my own. I'm like Sophia with Chance. She wants to get out there and work with him and practice all the things that she's learning in her lessons. And she's learning a lot and he's learning a lot and they're learning to be together. And I wanna do this on my own too. Just pray for me. Yeah, pray for me. Pray for me that <laughs> I can hear something when I'm out there so I can sense danger <laughs> if it's a rot, if it's coming. I think I have almost everything. What am I missing besides the horse? Tell me. <laughs> the girls are still sleeping. I got I got bug spray for her, bug spray for me, my helmet, got my boots. I lost the GoPro. <sighs> but one day I need it. But here's the thing. I had it with me all this week. Like I've seen it somewhere. I can't remember where I even had it, but I had it and I was making sure it was near me the whole entire time. And then when I needed it, it was gone and I couldn't find it. But I also can't find the carry purse that I carry or like a fanny pack to carry. This is why last night would have been a good time to plan. Where are the buckets that we carry water for the horses? Do you remember? Well, you always bring it, but you know how you have those green buckets and you put them in the truck for the horses? Yeah, are they not in the trailer? Are they in the trailer? Actually, that's where I put them. All right, I'll look. Do you know where any of my fanny packs are? Barn somewhere. In the barn somewhere? Yeah. Why do you think they're in the barn? The last time they're, I saw they're, they're probably in a bucket somewhere in the barn. A bucket somewhere in the barn? Yeah, are you talking about the ones that go on the saddle? No, I'm talking about not a saddle bag, one of my fanny packs that I can carry. Oh, I have no idea where those are. All right, well, thank you. I'll call you back if I can't find the water buckets. All right, so as you can see, things are not going well. <laughs> She's going to be here in 
20 minutes. Oh, I'm ahead of schedule. 20 minutes. So, like, do you guys groom your horse before you go on the trail, or you groom them at the trail? Groom them now. Groom them now? Mm -hmm. So, that's one less thing to do at the trail ride. I'm grooming her at the trail ride. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter if that's right or wrong. That's what I'm doing, because... The reason I'm doing that there is because I need her and me to both have like a cool down, calm down time, if that makes sense. I need to take her someplace and then have like a sense of normalcy while we get ready and normal things for her to set her in the right tone. That's how I feel. I don't want to just like throw her on, off the trailer and saddle her up and, and get going. I want to like, oh man, panicking because I didn't have time to get ready. That is the first rookie mistake. Never do what Laura does. You guys don't understand how much I work, how much like yesterday might not seem like we did a lot, but I had to drive like an hour and a half, two times yesterday, back and forth to the barn, like an hour and a half in total, two times. So like three hours, you think I should wear this? No, I just wanted to show it. I can't hear, so I might as well be a target. <laughs> so people know I'm coming. I need a shirt that says I'm deaf. I also need a water bucket. Why can't I find Maybe. a water bucket? It's because I'm panicking. I don't want it, Sophie, but thank you. I know where all of our water buckets are. I lent them to the barn so that they could have extra water buckets for the horse show. Huh. And now we have no buckets? Can you check the trailer? Yeah, check the trailer, Laura. I need Tetney's leather halter. Figuring that out is gonna be a piece of, oh, oh, I was thinking that was a fanny pack, but it's not. Penny does not have a leather halter. Penny has a leather halter. Her old owner gave me one to bring her home in. And this is it. Right here, dirty, but work. It says he's a Mito Peppy Doc Storm. That's not it. That's it. It doesn't say Chino. That's Laura's, I can tell. You know how I can tell? Because it has those like prominent stitching on it. I remember. This, this is, is Stella's. No, this is Penny's. Oops. Yeah, Stella's is broken. Well, why don't you bring me? Well, you can come if you're ready, but I don't think you're ready. I am. All right, well, go get ready. I would love you to come, Sophie, if you came and support. Go get ready. I'll finish. I want to bring Willow on do tricks for all the people there so they can just watch Willow do tricks. That would be amazing. Yeah. But then Gracie would be alone. She only has a two horse. We'll make Gabby stay in the barn and she only has a two. All right, well, we'll make other plans. Okay, go up and get ready. Go quick. I swept. Thank you for sweeping out the mess I made. Um, go get ready, and you can come. Okay, what do I have to do? Does she have, like, more than two spots in her truck? We'll find out. All right, I would love you to come, Sophie. Thank you. This, my friends, is why I have a husband. This thing is heavy. Made it. Carry that all the way from down there. Holy heck, she's here. So I'm going to load her truck and then bring Penny out at the end. I'm ready. We're ready. Sophie can come. She has room. I just think I forgot the treats. And I want to bring some treats. And my phone I forgot. I went down to Nashville A guitar in the back I was gonna make it We did it. It took a mini, but we did it. And we did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going on a trail ride. consider this a success look at the last time i took her on a trail yeah. she was pouring sweat by the time we got That's her off the trailer i used to stay up all night trying to find my place chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness give me a little faith something to make me stronger someone who could like the way yeah, and you came to me and you gave me reason can't believe it every time we touch our feet. of the 
the craziest feeling that we're gonna have a hard time getting her back in the trailer? Because Lindsay to do do too. Because she actually does not want to even stand close to the trailer. I think that was the most stress that she's had so far. But she's loving that I'm here with her, that Sophie's here with her, and that we're like grooming her and tacking her or and taking care of her and Not letting her walk her around. So if he's gonna stay here and hang out. Yeah. If we home. scream, you're gonna come running. I don't run. So this is something we've never done with Penny, is let her eat while I tack up. And she really likes it. My friend was saying that her horse is not like a confident leader horse. And I was saying like how Penny doesn't love horses behind her. So either her horse, she doesn't like strange horses. So how it's gonna work is either we're gonna be in the lead or they're gonna be in the lead. And I prefer them be far in the lead and lead us, because I don't know where I'm going. That's the goal. Is that okay if that's the goal? What's that? If you're in the lead? Yep. All right, you think you can do it? You can try it. She's gonna try it, because her horse doesn't like it either. We're just gonna go with whatever happens. So also I don't have like a fanny pack or I don't have my GoPro. I don't have anything, so I'm just gonna carry you guys in my bra like I always do. And then I'm just gonna take it out and film when I can. Right, Penny? You you chill with that, Pen? You okay with that? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go on a trail ride. I didn't want to mount on the rocks because I don't want to ride her on rocks. I hate that. But look, I brought my stool and they have these. Do you think this would be high enough? What do you think, Pen? So she's been really calm, you guys. I Don't eat anything poisonous because that would be bad. All well, right. Dogs, they know when something's poisonous and I don't eat it. Yeah, they know. All right. Do you guys think I should try it's this? Oh, that's higher. All right, hold on. <laughs> Don't eat leaves. <laughs> I feel like she knows. I feel like she gets it. I mean, she's done this. But I feel confidence in her where I didn't last time. So we started out with the other horses a walk as the leader. And then Penny said, get the hell out of my way because you walk way too slow. Yeah, no. No galloping. So she's loving this, how I think. I don't think she's scared. I think she just wants to go. I think she remembers and wants to go. And it's beautiful here. And the other horse is behind us. Because she's slow. Penny's fast. And I love it. She's a leader. My horse is a leader. I don't know where we're going, but she's a leader. <laughs> oh, you guys. So far, this is a success. So I lengthened my stirrups the other day. And they're too long. And I should have, like, realized. Yeah, my girl is so sure-footed this is a steep incline not that way if I pull on her she's like let go of me I know what I'm doing this is my trail I'm the boss here <laughs> oh go careful she's moving yeah that means you're happy yeah my stirrups are a mess like they're way too long but sometimes you just have to deal when you're on a trail it's ride or die sisters and don't take that personally penny don't say that i love you on this trail yeah with a strange horse yeah you love it and trip over rocks it's okay yeah yeah she's listening to me talk to her when i rode those pasifinos for the first time it was this was my dream okay we're going through grass so i'm gonna put you guys away what up the hill go go she ran at first now she's like i can't barely carry my own body oh good job penny pickle oh we did some scary stuff already and it was amazing and i was brave so there was this little tiny path that we went on that was a, through the water in a ditch and it was and it was get off of that so she's a penny she's a she's a stella you see what she's doing <laughs> She's trying to eat. But anyways, we had to go through this really 
rocky part and she did it and I'm proud of her. The bugs are bad. Look at them all over her. And I sprayed her. So we're gonna take the road back because Penny's head is covered in bugs. Did I, was I supposed to turn? Um, yeah, let's get out of this. All right, because we're, uh, hold on. All right, so now we're behind. We turned around and she turns beautifully. Uh, and it's good for Penny to learn to be behind. She see, she knows. She, so last time I took her, she just was scared. feet raindrops falling on the street i can't recall when i last saw the sun summer's just a memory a faded piece of history no one can remember all the fun the late night barbecue all right i'm just sitting here enjoying this ride penny's finally getting a relaxed laura don't speak too soon. Look at my horse. She's standing behind. A nice distance behind. I am not even got reins on mine. Yeah, I don't have reins on mine either. My horse doesn't need reins. <laughs> she knows what to do. Her horse is a really good fit for the energy. Like Penny doesn't love other horses. No. But because Maggie is just um, Watch where you're going. In charge. You don't if she doesn't want her near Maggie will move. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, like it's a good thing. Wow. This is wow. Like I whenever I rode, I would take you. yeah, she promised. And then our other friend, but her other friend is in available today. So we didn't even ask her. She couldn't anyway. She couldn't. Uh oh, hold on there. Penny wants to walk behind, not beside. So she just naturally slowed down and waits for that horse to go ahead. Yeah, she's this is like, I don't know what the heck has happened with my life. This is what Penny knows, and this is what she likes. Zipping on a genie juice Cruising down the road No thought getting old The girls are hot but the beer is cold Yeah, that's the way we roll Bathing in the sun On the beach having fun Whoa, these lazy days are never done Don't waste my time on yesterday I never shy away from a good time Coming on Friday night I see my friends and feel alright There ain't no stopping us from having fun There ain't no cloud in sight The future is looking bright people were talking to me and we just mosey on by. <laughs> Penny's like, we don't have time to talk. We're going back. <laughs> love her because she's everything that her old owner told me she's strong she's dependable she's safe and she's not spooky and when she does get scared she just stops and looks and listens and thinks and I also want to say thank you to all of you guys who have like given me direction through this whole like getting her ready for a trail ride I listened to a lot of the things that you guys said that's really important to prepare her like the trailer training and uh and uh, like all of it and taking her for the walks around our property and like just a lot of you guys have helped me a lot and I appreciate it. We are dating. We are dating.
that's how good she is to stop. This was the best ride of my life because it was on my own horse. Like we did it. We did it and there was no problems. <laughs> yeah, there was not even one single second of a problem. So look at this is what happened. So see, I don't know if you guys can see, but basically my sat my stirrups came undone. And I should have checked it before I got on. So it was my own fault. And so it actually was like about a 20 minute trail ride, about 20 minutes. And the only issue that we had was that the bugs, so like I sprayed her whole body, except for I didn't spray up here and I didn't spray her ears. So the whole time, yeah, like look at her. She, she was so phenomenal. The whole time I had to like stretch all the way across here and grab her ears and, and be like, getting it off her and she just let me. This horse was phenomenal. I am so glad you guys pushed me to do this. Like, I just want to do it again and again and again. I need her truck fixed because I think Sophie could have done that trail. I'm gonna bring Sophie here. Such a fun ride, so amazing. This is the happiest I've ever seen my horse, ever. Horse is five minutes. Penny didn't want to go on, but she went on. And then I gave her an apple and it was really messy, but she deserved it. She got off that trailer and she just let out the biggest scream for her ponies. <laughs> You've been places, Penny. Yeah. <laughs> You're so happy. You're home. I just wanted to tell you guys what I learned and what I did wrong. And I like to just say it because it helps me solidify it in my brain. So what I did right was I took Penny for a little walk when we got there and I saw her look around. I took her to the trail entrance and I saw her say like, oh, okay, I understand what you want from me. And just her understanding what I wanted from her made all the difference in our whole trail. The other thing I did wrong was I was so concentrating on these bugs. These, that's the only reason we didn't stay longer. Like we would have went for so much longer. Yeah, but there were no bugs on the rest of her body because I sprayed her, but right up here and on the back of her ears and the same with the other horse. So we didn't want to put the, our horses through that. And they did fabulous. They didn't even care. Like they didn't put up a fuss at all, but we didn't want them to have to suffer from bugs. So, um, so we'll fix that next time. I'll like be more careful about where I spray her. I need to spray up there and I need to carry the bug spray with me. Anyways, so I did those things wrong. Also, I had a couple of tack malfunctions, which I should have checked before I got on. I think that's it. I think those were like the big mistakes that I made. The things that I did well were was the preparation before we went. And then, like I said, walking her around and showing her like, this is what we're doing here. And as soon as she recognized what we were doing there, she was fantastic. She showed me all the skills she has. Like, you know, I'm riding Penny out in the yard and she's like upset because she's leaving her friends and, and she's giving me attitude and her in the arenas. And like, that's not her thing. As soon as she knew what to do out on the trail, she was like, let's do it. And I just let her like, uh, oh, the other thing I did wrong is that I was so focused on these bugs that I kept leaning forward and sitting more forward. And I kept forgetting to sit back on my seat bones. And every time I would remind myself to sit back on my seat bones, her head would drop to the ground and she would just blow out and just be so happy. And she would like speed up a little. We went like the best pace ever. It was just this beautiful, like we weren't slow. You guys saw we were ahead most of the time. She wasn't slow, but she wasn't at all upset like she wasn't anxious at all like she just was like I understand and she was a, so good and then that other horse that went with us was the absolute best horse for her because she doesn't like other horses with, that she doesn't know and that horse was like yeah do what you want to do I'm just here like you don't need to pay attention to me and it created such an incredible situation for Penny she was able to just go out there and have fun and not worry about the other horse like they were so good together in our time like we both realized like we just want to take our time and just enjoy the process so we didn't it wasn't like a show where you get there and then you have to like get ready really fast and like that kind of stuff it just was like get there and be leisurely and just tack up and brush and do everything like it was uh, my horse had her head down three quarters of that whole entire situation with that. So anyways, that was our trail ride. I was gonna call it the treacherous trail ride. There was only one bad spot. Not, she didn't, like there was no anxiety. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too long. 
It was amazing. I cannot wait to do it again. And Sam, I decided what I want for my birthday. Two years ago, in November, you bought me a horse for my birthday. And now I want a small truck and a small trailer that I can go and meet my friends and take my horse and trailer. Don't you know that you're beautiful?